Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Keda here, and today we are going to see why we need a bypass diode in a solar panel. So here is the solar panel. These are six solar cells connected in series, and here is the full open circuit voltage, which is 3.3 volts of this panel. And uh, let me show you the short circuit current of the panel. So it is giving me one. 47 milliamps okay friends so let's see what will happen when i cast a shadow on to the one of the cell you can see that current is dropping about as half of the current now i am just casting a shadow on one cell but you can see the current is almost dropped to half of its original value well this shedding loss happens because we have connected all these panels in series to get higher voltage this each cell will only produce 0.6 volts so it is necessary to connect all them in series to add up the voltage but what will happen if i cover one of the cell the total current output of the panel is equal to the current of the panel which is under the shade so it is not the good thing because you are losing your current mostly into the shaded cell so for this current loss you can use a normal diodes to improve the efficiency of your solar cell so let's see how we can connect these diodes so here i have taken out each and individual positive and negative lead from each of the solar cell for the voltage and the current rating selection of the diode you should prefer to the your solar panel now my solar panel is pretty small you can see its maximum current output is only 150 milliamps so this uh, 1N4007 diodes will work but if each cell is producing about 5 amps you should choose a diode with more than 5 amp current and normally these cells will only produce 0.6 volts so this uh, silicon diodes will work because their forward voltage is 0.6 volts so onto the diode this side covered with this silver strip is a negative and this is the positive side and for the solar panel this top surface is a negative and the bottom surface is the positive so what you have to do you have to connect a diode in a forward bias to each cell so the positive of diode connects to the positive of cell and a negative to the negative it's very simple so this all diodes are connected to the each solar cells individually and you can see the open circuit voltage there which is 3.2 volts and this time we are getting 144 milliamps of short circuit current so let me cover one of the cell and you will see there is a less drop in the current But for a bigger panel like this, it is causing much more power loss in a shaded cell because there are 72 cells connected in series. So there is 45 volts at about 8 amps. So when one of the cell is covered, the maximum current of this panel is only the current of this cell. So if you connect 72 diodes to this panel you can reduce the loss if there is a tree shadow on this panel or there is certain scenario like there is a building which is casting a shadow on your panel and you can't move the panels actually and uh, if you don't want to connect that much quantity of diodes to the solar panel what you can do you can select a string which is this string so there are six strings going like this so you can connect a diode for a string so into the junction box you can see the manufacturers actually connect six diodes to the panel so that's why for some extent you are not losing your energy in uh, shading loss and the connection of bypass diodes is uh, very useful if your panel is aged and one of the cell from this panel is somewhat damaged cracked 
how this bypass diode works is very easy if this panel is covered the current will pass through the diode so this overall panels will not lose the energy through this series resistance which is acting uh, due to the shed if any one of the panel is covered the bypass diode will pass a current through it so that's why it is called as a bypass diode please hit that like button and share this video with your friends and as always thanks for watching guys goodbye